Hey there everyone, it's Geo here. Remember the video of me playing Gran Turismo in the beginning of the year? Well, I did lose two of those races and I think it's time to redeem myself. So one of the races at WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, I finished second in and I think it's time to redeem myself and try to get first place. And while I race, I wanna discuss with you all the motorsports happenings that happened in the beginning of the year and up until now. All right, let's go. Six gear. Down to second. I don't want to go down to first. So, a lot of motorsports happened or started at the beginning of this year, like Supercross, the Chili Bowl happened, the Dakar Rally finished, and of course, Formula E. cars go out to the edge when I exit to build momentum. I can't I can't really keep on turning in. So first, let's talk about Supercross. Supercross started the first weekend of January. Justin Barsha won the first race in Anaheim. In St. Louis, Ken Roxon won over there for round two. And just a note, I am just mentioning the 450cc class. Just recently, over the weekend, Supercross made their second trip to Anaheim with Eli Tomac winning that race. Just gonna have to take some liberties. I mean, no real damage when it comes to me bumping them, but if this was in real life, I'd damage a car like this if I actually hit somebody, try to bump it out of the way. There's a potential for damaging your car. Speaking of open wheel cars, like I said, the Chili Bowl happened. It's a once a year race held in Oklahoma 
featuring midget cars and a quarter mile indoor dirt circuit. NASCAR star Kyle Larson won that race. Friday, the the car rally finish. Carlos Sainz won in the cars division with his Mini Raid X. In the quads class, Ignacio Casale. One pretty dominantly, too. Andre Karganov won in the trucks class. And then in the bikes and side by sides classes, history has been made with the first Americans to ever win the Dakar Rally. In the side-by-side -side class, Casey Curry won. And in the bikes class, Ricky Brabeck won. Those two are the first Americans to ever win the Dakar in any class. You know what guys, a 5th place finish won't too. That was a little distracted with me explaining some motorsport news. I'm gonna let this replay go as I explain all these news points here. 
With the Dakar Rally, it did see a fatality this year. Paolo Gonçalves passed away from an accident in stage 7 of the race. He was 40 years old. My condolences to his family, friends, and colleagues of Paulo Gonçalves. Just this past Saturday, the Formula E race just had its third race of the season in Santiago, Chile. Maximilian Guther of the BMW i and Trinity Motorsport team won the race. Antonio Felix da Costa of DS Tichita got second, and Mitch Evans who started on pole position from the Panasonic Jaguar racing team got third. What a race in Santiago indeed. It was a last lap pass for the win. With that, Maximilian Gunther becomes the youngest ever Formula E winner. In the Formula E driver standings, we see Stuffel Van Dorn lead the championship now with 38 points. And with a DNF in Santiago, Alexander Sims just drops down to second place in the championship standings with 35 points. This weekend, it's the 58th edition of the Rolex 24 hour race at Daytona. The Rolex 24 kicks off the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship for the season. Coverage of the Rolex 24 at Daytona can be seen on NBC, NBC Sports Network, and the NBC Sports app. Check your local listings for broadcast times of the Rolex 24 at Daytona. With the start of the new season of the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship, I am excited to see new teams, especially with the new Corvettes, and a lot of drivers going into different teams. With the Rolex 24, we see a lot of guest drivers. Guest drivers being drivers from other different forms of motorsport. Like with Kyle Busch, this would be his second time in the Rolex 24. This time, he'll be driving the GTD class Alexis with the AIM Besser Sullivan team. We see a lot of IndyCar drivers driving with teams that want to build up to the limit of a four-driver team. Scott Dixon, Sebastian Bourdais, to name a few. A notable omission this year is the lack of the Factory 4 team. I mean, with the movie Ford vs. Ferrari, you'd think they would still keep their sports car team here in the U.S., but unfortunately not. Although, there are teams still using the Ford GT as their race car in the series. So, I'm excited for that this weekend. And of course, Supercross is also racing this Saturday. In the next month, we'll see Formula One announce the teams and their liveries. IndyCar 2 will announce teams and liveries throughout the month of February. And then in February, NASCAR starts, as well as the NHRA Drag Racing Series starting up in Pomona. So yeah, there is a lot of happenings in motorsports, and I can't wait to watch it all, especially the Indy cars. Try to scan, let's try to get the win.
hustle them out of the way. Hit those secondary curves, man. Sausage curves. We're gonna toss you out of the track. I have the tendency to turn in too much.
see the leader. I see second place ahead of me. Final lap. Easy overtake boost. I got him. I got him. Oh, over raft, over raft. Focus, focus. Eyes on leader. Redemption. Woo! Yes. Oh, great stuff. Great stuff. Redemption, guys. I got my redemption. Alright, guys. I got my win on Laguna Seca. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to click like. Subscribe to the Spelco YouTube channel if you haven't. And as always, thank you for watching.